Welcome back to off Road Outlaws, guys, and today we are going to be building a couple of different versions of my truck. The first one is going to be as close as I can replicate to the truck in the real world as it sits right now. And then the second version after that is going to be as close as I can get in Off-Road Outlaws to sort of what I want the truck to look like later on down the road. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So now that we've got this Tundra purchased and in the yard, what I'm going to do just for standard in-game performance is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all of the performance specs of this truck all the way. That way we don't really have any, any gameplay issues making our way around any of the maps that we might take the truck to. Now, durability, of course, is also going up all the way. I'm going to throw an e-brake on there. And from there, I think, once again, solely for the aspect of in-game performance, I am going to do a full Stage 4 Supercharger build. This, it, this part of the build is not you know representative of the way my truck is in real life this is solely to bring the performance up to par basically for driving around every map we might choose to do so now that that's taken care of i'm gonna go ahead and first i'm gonna take care of the color now the color on my real world tundra is a little bit darker than this it's, it's a silver but it's a little bit of a darker silver than this but it is also a gloss silver so i'm gonna try to get as close to that color as i can that'll work for me all right, so now let's go ahead and put that away, and now it's time to go ahead and start handling some of the other aspects of the truck. Now, let's go back, and I want to see if I can get the tires a little bit closer. Before we start changing up the size, I want to see if we can get sort of a sort of an all-terrain type tire. I mean, and I do plan on switching the real truck itself over to a mud terrain a little bit later down the road, but let me see what they have that would be close-ish to an all-terrain. I guess this would be about as close as they get, and it's kind of not exactly what I'm looking for, so I think what I might do is I might start with these, even though, once again, even though these are not necessarily representative of the tires I have on the truck in the real world, which are, at the moment of recording this video, the truck has a, uh, a set of BFG KO2 all-terrains on it. Obviously, these are not like that. These are more like a, what, like a Baja Pro, and the truck does not have those. But once again, I think I wanted to just sort out the tires, and that way we won't have to change them, uh, change them all that much a little bit later. So I've got those on, and I want to kind of mess with the wheels a little bit as well, because currently it has these TRD forged wheels that I like a lot, and these are pretty close, actually, in design, but I want to see if there's any other wheels that look even remotely similar. Uh, those are similar-ish, but the spokes are split more. This is actually as close as this is actually as close as we're getting to uh, to the real world uh, wheels. Actually, so we'll make the spokes themselves. Oh, that's a little uh, that's a little far. And then we'll darken the spokes themselves. Then we'll go to the bead and we'll make the bead kind of like a silver. And so that will be what we're working with right now. And now we're gonna go back to the spokes. Darken them not too far, but close, and then pretty close to what the front one is already. So those are already starting to look like the wheels on my real-world truck. So I'm thinking that in order to make it, I wonder if I do, oh, I, well, mm, I don't know if I like that, though. I think I'm probably just going to stick with it. Yeah, I wanted to see if it was worth it to go metallic, and I don't think it is. I don't think it is. So those are already starting to look like the TRD forged wheels. And now, we need to handle the suspension dynamics of the truck. Now, in the real world, this truck, my real truck, at the moment of recording this video, has a, has a ready lift 6-inch kit with the Bilstein coilovers. So, I think what we're going to do in order to replicate that is, in the front, we're going to switch to a independent type. And we'll do, let's see, we'll do heavy-duty independent. And we're going to go ahead and install that. And then we'll go to the back, and I'm thinking in the back we'll probably do, well, probably standards, we'll do, we'll do solid axle, standard solid axle, because that's as close as, that's as close to what we have in real life as we're probably going to get with the rear end of the truck. So now we're going to go into the suspension tuning, and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the, the tunability all the way, and let's see, so 
we'll throw the differential and the axles in there. That way, it's a lot more, a uh, lot more realistic as well. And axis width, it's not super wide right now. It's not like an ultra wide setup. So I'm thinking about 0.3 is where we'll stop for now. And we'll make the rear uh, 0.3 as well. So let's go back to the front. And I'm going to raise the front, not a ton, but I'm going to raise it somewhat. So let's say 0.3, like 0.37. 0.37 ish now here's the thing it's not oh, there we go 0 0.38 0 0.37 so it's not necessarily going to be a huge difference but once again the first version of this build is going to be for that realism factor so let's see now i want to get the shock size well before we do the shock size i need to switch out the shocks to a more that's a little better but this is a little bit closer to my real setup so i think i'm going to leave them on that and then we'll just make them a little bigger. Because the the shocks it has in the real world, like, they are quite large. All right, so let's do the shock size in the back. We'll turn those up a little bit. Not maybe, you know, not a ton, but a little bit. All right, so now that we've done that, I want to take it back. And let me actually just tune the damping real quick to, like, about... We'll do about 2,800 front and rear. Because uh, I do want this thing to be able to actually drive decently well, even though we're kind of on a realistic-ish uh, setup. So we'll do the stage five uh, front and rear wheels upgrade. And the radius is going to go up to about 1. Eh, 1.2, high 1.2. The real truck has 37s on it. And I think as far as the way it looks in the wheel wells, a, a 1.2, like high 1.2 gets pretty close. So yeah, that actually looks about pretty close in terms of uh, like just in terms of style, in terms of the way the real truck looks. Now, width-wise, I'm going to move those out to a 1.1 because it's not a crazy wide 37. It's a 37, 12, 50, 17. So it's not ultra wide. Now, that should be about where the real truck sits. And that's actually like, that's actually pretty good in terms of like comparison to the real thing, I think. I, I think that's actually really nice in comparison to the real thing so i'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out now and we're gonna drive it real quick and then we're gonna come back in and we're going to do some adjustments to the truck and kind of turn it into the ultimate version of the realistic version so we're gonna take the, the realistic version and turn it into like you know the ultimate version thereof so this would be more of the realistic version and i gotta say it actually looks it actually looks pretty similar to the real one and, oh god, it actually, it, 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 it rubs the front bumper right where the real one rubs the front bumper. That's some realism for you right there. It actually does drive pretty well, though. I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, I wasn't necessarily expecting much when I got this thing in-game, because it's kind of, it, it's still pretty realism-focused, and it's not, you know, it's not built to, like, a crazy level. I mean, apart from, obviously, the performance statistics of it, but the tires aren't massive, the suspension doesn't have tremendous amounts of travel, but it is a fun little truck. Let's do, like, a very small trail. I'm not gonna time it or anything, but I'm gonna take it on some rocks. We're gonna do some more realistic-style wheeling real quick. Dude, this is actually, like, super cool. Like, re like wheeling a, a recreation of my real-world truck on some simple obstacles. It's just, it's just such a cool feeling. It really is such a cool feeling. Oh, man, I absolutely love that. Uh-oh, I think we're stuck on the front bumper. Just realism things. We're gonna have to approach from the side. Come on, there you go. Easy does it. Not bad. Oh, God, that, that was almost bad. You know what, though? I feel like we can jump it. This will be, like, the one unrealistic part of this entire run. Yeet! I mean, we would have just probably ripped apart every single control arm on the truck, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Yep, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. I do think we got pretty close on the color, though. I mean, the color is not perfect, but now that I see it out in the, uh, like, now that I see it out in the game world, um, and in the in-game environment, I do like what we have going on with the color. I think the color looks good. Again, I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's definitely, uh, definitely about as close as we were gonna end up getting. Let me back this up real quick, actually, because I do want to see how it looks kind of on the edge of that hill. So let's go into photo mode real quick. Actually spin that around. Oh, dude, I love it. I absolutely love how it looks. I really, really do. And I think that at the end of the day, 
it's just one of those things that's like it's so cool to me to have this truck in the game like i i absolutely love the fact that i have this truck in the game i'm gonna go ahead and grab that as a picture now whether or not that will become part of the thumbnail remains to be determined but you know you never know we'll see god i love this thing though i love this thing so much i could sit i could sit here and take pictures of it for like a, a good long while but now it's time to leave photo mode and it's also time to head back to the yard because now we're going to do more of the quote-unquote ultimate version of what this thing could be. So now it's time to go back into the tuning area. And before, wait a minute, before we do that, uh, $26 in repairs. And we'll do a quick wash just to kind of get that handled. Now the front is going to change to a long travel trophy type heavy duty suspension. That is going to change things dramatically. And then the rear is going to swap over to a solid axle pro heavy duty. So we've already completely revamped what we're doing here with the setup. Now, as far as the actual suspension uh, tuning goes, we're gonna head uh, bruh. We're gonna head straight back into the tuning, upgrade that to stage five. Good to go there. Go back to the front, and I'm gonna make the axis width on this one more of a point, let's say point four. And it's going to be obviously like a little bit wider than before, but that'll equal out when we lift it more. So let's go ahead and we'll make this probably about travel. Travel will be 0 0.50 in the front. And in the back, it's going to be, it's going to be round about the same, but it's also going to be, actually, we're going to bump it up to uh, 0.6. And then we're going to actually lower the stiffness in the back just to kind of regain a little bit of extra flex. And speaking of flex, I'm really excited to see how that long travel IFS does up front. So let's go now to the shock size. And in terms of the shock size, hold on. Let me go to the shocks themselves, swap over to this setup, full on just dual independent reservoir setup. And then in the back, we're going to probably stick with the first shock options. And what happens if we go, oh, that's too much. Um, let's just say 1.7. I mean, I know it kind of pokes through the, uh, the bedside, but that's just Offered Outlaws things. And stiffness is going to be, well, it's about 20K in the front right now. And I'm going to leave, well, uh, I don't know about that. Let's see, what's the stiffness in the back? 13. Let's bring that down to like 11.9. And in the front, I'm going to bring this down. Oh, man. Well, I'll we'll bring it down to like 19. And then that'll be... That'll be as close to level as we can get it right now, but that's fine because we can go back and work on that more later. Now, wheel radius. Currently, we're at 1.2. I'm going to bump it up to a 1.3 at a width of also 1.3. So let's say high 1.3 and width of 1.3 as well. Now, it's starting to look properly beefy in the front end especially. So I'm going to also, now that we're in the dyno area, I'm going to go ahead and throw the perfect setup on it. We don't really need to run the dyno right now, but that's fine. So I'm going to do a quick flex test. So let's do the front and so it's not bad already for like IFS setup truck. Okay, so that's where it picks up, but I mean, that's a ton. So let's see. So that's 28 degrees and that tire is like just barely sitting on the ground. I mean, look at that rear flex though. The rear is tucked. The rear is absolutely freaking tucked, dude. Holy smokes. Okay, wheels and tires wise, I'm going to do one little change. One little change in the customization because this is a change that I also plan on making in real life. I'm not sure if it's going to be with these exact wheels, but these wheels are based on a method racing wheel. And I'm going to actually, so make sure I'm on the spokes. I'm going to swap them around to more of like a gold. And let's see if we can get fairly close to uh, something like that. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. Now, I wish I could take this color and just copy it to the back, but I'm going to have to try to like get as close as I can. So let's see, how close can I get to that color? It's too orange. Um, close enough for what we're trying to do, I think. Almost there. All right, so let me see. Close enough. I know they're not identical, but they're close enough. The front's a tiny bit brighter. And that's actually, that's going to bug me. Hold on. The front's a tiny bit brighter. Uh, that's, that's better. Yeah, that's better. It's not, once again, it's not exact, 
but it's a lot better. Now, onto the body modifications. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that normal front bumper, and we're going to replace it with a Baja-style bumper because that's something I absolutely want to do on my real one. And fenders-wise, it's time for... Oh, it's time for a either a set of cut fenders or Baja style fenders. They don't have Baja style fenders in this game, so we're just going to do some cut fenders. In the rear, I'm going to do a just a high clearance setup. And let's see, lighting wise, this is where it gets fun. Baja style off-road lights, snorkel, and we'll throw a spare in the bed. Then where else could we throw it? Oh, on the hood? Ah, we're going to go with the bed for sure. And then let's see, what else? Winch setup? I'm down for a winch setup. I'll take that. And where does this front light bar go? Uh, we'll throw the front light bar right there. That's not where I would put it in real life, but I'll go ahead and put it there for now. Um, I'm going to do the white HIDs in the front, and we will also throw a repair pad. Well, we'll throw a toolbox, actually, in the back. And then mirrors-wise, I don't know if I want the tow mirrors on my, uh, like, on my real build. I'd probably just keep the stock mirrors, so we'll go with the stock mirrors there. But that is absolutely, like, that is gorgeous. I absolutely love the way that looks, and I want to drive it immediately. Now, before I do that, though, I do want to throw a TC logo on here somewhere. I'm not completely sure where I want to put it, but I think I'll put it on this back door, and we'll do a, and we'll, like, I'm sure we'll copy it over once we, um, I'm sure we'll copy it over once we finish doing it, but Let's see. We'll throw it on that back door right there. And if I can get it to actually, like, straighten out the way I need it to, then we'll be in business. So let's see. Almost there. And, oh, my God. Okay, well, close enough. All right, full on red. And now we're going to go back, and then we'll head through and do the text. So we know exactly, we know exactly how this text is going to look. TC. And luckily, the TC logo is super easy to make, so it's never, it's never, like, difficult to get it onto the side of a vehicle. Now, we'll do that right there, and then we'll go ahead and flip this to the other side. Um, I'm thinking that as long as we can get these flipped around to the other side with no, it, oh, oh, that's not right. Okay, there we go. That's right. Um, there we go. And just make sure, I mean, I know it's backwards, but that's, that, like, that still seems fine. And then I'm sure there's going to be more I will want to do to the truck visually, but I did want to go ahead and throw the logo on there just to see how it looked. And kind of now that I see it, I kind of want to make it bigger, but we'll, we'll think about that later. Now, let's take this thing out and see how it does in a similar environment. So this has been completely reworked, fully built, and there was really no restrictions at all, in my opinion, when I built this thing. So at least no restrictions in my book. I mean, and I'll tell you something, I would love for this to be like somewhat the end game for, for the Tundra in real life. So let's, let's hit this same little hill we hit before. Yeet. We got a crate. Hey, all right, I'll take it. Let's see if we can jump across most of this mud. Most of it, honestly, wasn't bad. So let's do that same little realistic rock trail, and we'll see. Actually, you know what? We're going to take a harder line this time because we're back with a much more capable truck. So realism mode on for low engaged. Harder line time. Let's see what you do. It wasn't a fan of that line choice. It still went up the side, but it really wasn't a fan of, like, exactly how we managed that line, but that's okay. Dude, that flex, though, even in the front, I mean, that's that's really impressive. For an IFS setup, that's really impressive. And, and especially, like, on uh, the flex tester, it did great. That was the same spot right there where we caught the stock bumper before. This time, yeah, it just walked right over it. Not even a question. Not even a question in my mind. Oh, this thing rips. This thing absolutely rips. Let me get it out of uh, four low because four low is extremely slow. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Thanks. 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 I appreciate it. All right. One more obstacle test that I want to do. And this area has some steeper rocks that I want to see how this thing tackles. Once again, still in that realistic obstacle mindset. Not bad. Lockers are definitely something that's going to go on the real one in the future. I'll tell you that. Bump it up that rock ledge. Oh, dude, this thing is legit. 
Look at that climb. Oh, this thing is so good. I absolutely love this truck. Oh, look at that flex, though. That's actually a really good representation of how good the flex is on this truck. I absolutely love it, and it's definitely a rig that I'm going to be using a lot more in my realistic adventures in Off-Road Outlaws. Now, I will say I've got, you know, trucks that are way more capable than this, but in terms of, like, you know, a more realistic adventure truck, this thing is a blast. And if you guys enjoyed this video and have any suggestions at all, make sure to leave any thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.